Welcome everyone to the second episode of Nandi Vastu. Today we are going to talk to Sandeep Guruji to understand more about Vastu and its importance in our life to solve all the problems that we face. Welcome once again Sandeep Guruji. Namaste. So today I have compiled more of questions from the audience which has been sent across so that we can actually get few more clarifications for them. So last episode we spoke about geopathic stress. So I think the audience had few more questions about it. Is there any way that we can elaborate more about it? Yeah, in your day-to-day life, we can see our wife shouting on us. So what happens, their stress level increases and explodes. So the same way, the negative energy bursts out of the earth. That is called geopathic stress. Geo means the earth and pathy means disease. So when the negative energy releases, the geopathic stress is nothing but a negative energy. But the negative energy can be in different forms. So we need to avoid the geopathic stress for a successful life. So you are saying that geopathic stress might increase and create more problems. So what happens if you keep continuing to live their life and sleep over there? Yeah, first of all, the first point where it's affected psychologically, it affects a lot. So what happens when our mindset is not in a proper way, we start uh, giving stress, uh, showing stress everywhere. So our problem solving capacity will go lower and sometimes it happens stress eating will be a habit. That's the major thing where we have to take care. So I have heard few people talking about uh, stress eating because the reason is when office work or people actually smoke also. So what exactly, you know, stress eating, you know, how much it's actually effectful for us? Yeah, stress eating is a very dangerous for our health because when we are having stress means we are having negative energies inside our body. Our emotions are very negative. So our hormones will be in a negative amount. So what happens when we take food, we will get the energy and the energy will be having the negative form. So that is the reason why the negative energy is very dangerous and stress eating is also very dangerous for our health. So once you spoke about geopathic stress, you know, is there any way that you can tell us like, are there any more negative energies other than geopathic stress? Yeah, sometimes what happens, I've seen a lot of cases, people wear a lot of ornaments, gold ornaments, silver ornaments. So it's in our culture that girls wear a lot of gold jewelries. But if their body energy doesn't suit the particular metal, so that is been negatively bound for them. So if they wear a negative metal, their body will have a negative impact on that. So slowly they will be losing their immunity power. The same way we wear gemstones. So why we wear gemstones when we are not having a good time, we go to astrologer. According to the astrologer chart, we'll find a suitable gemstone and wear it. Suppose if we are not consulting an astrologer and we just blankly put up a gemstone, it will surely have a negative effect. So are you trying to say that it might have a bad impact on our health as well? Yeah, of course. When we are having a wrong metal means our immunity power is becoming weak and the chakras will be becoming weak. So when our body chakras are in a negatively bound, it is weak, it is open to diseases. So we need to see whether the metal is suitable for us or not before wearing. Okay. Also, you know, see, normally the astrologer would actually pick up some kind of a planetary information and, you know, suggest us some metal. So like we have some kind of a solution to wear some gemstone, does our house, office also have some kind of solution for the energies? Yeah. Actually, every object has got this life. Every object has got the life. The same way everything is bound with seven colors, seven planets. It's like that. So, in every house, if any negative energy is found, that will be a combination of certain planetary movements or it might be a single planet also. Suppose we tell... If there is any negativity as the staircase, normally we code it as Guru. 
that Jupiter is very weak. The same way every how has got a negativity according to the planetary positions only. So in which places of our house we can consider that this place is positive? Uh, actually what we usually see is three places where we want our home to be energized is the entrance of the house. So entrance of the house is related to the center of the house and the puja room and the sump is directly related to our uh, finance. So we need to see sump should be positive, the entrance of the house should be positive, the center of the house should be positive and the puja room where we place the god should be the right. The center of the house, you know, so I believe that is also called as Brahmasthana. Is that right? Yeah, that is the reason because in the last video I told Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara. So Brahma is the origin. That is the reason why we need the Brahma, the origin to be the correct. So that is the reason why we want Brahmasthana to be the correct because it's the origin. <laughs> So in, even in the positions of temples, you know, even that is same. Is that the same uh, formula that we actually suggest? Yeah, a lot of people have a lot of idea concepts about the puja temples inside the home. So some used to tell northeast. When we keep the northeast open, obviously energy flows from northeast. But when we keep the temple there, it will be blocked actually. So there is a lot of misconception or their ideas because there is no actual proof where to keep the temple. But as per my experience, the temple should be placed adjacent to the Brahmasthana. So the energy of the God should be seeing the Brahma. Mm -hmm. So I mean like you know that uh, people are like in my generation, there is a young generation around the world is currently under a lot of stress because of either internet or anything. Is there any tips that you would like to give us so that we can actually follow and reduce stress in our lives? Yeah, at least you need to meditate 20 minutes early in the morning. That will release all your stress. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people now is in Bangalore, it's all software world. So everybody will be working on computers or uh, laptops. So, while you are working on laptops, keep 8 to 10 sheets of paper, newspapers behind it, sorry, under it and then you work it so that the negative energy will not be more focusing on you. Yeah, yeah, something that we would like to try. Thank you so much Guruji to once again come over to the program and explain more about Nandi Vastu. So, we will surely come back with more questions but yeah, of course, as audience, you can also send us more questions so that we can ask clarification with Sandeep Guruji and get it clarified so that you can also reduce all kinds of stresses in your life. Thank you so much for watching the program. If you like this program, please do share it with all your friends and family. Once, once again, thank you so much. Thank you.